What is going on YouTube world? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and everything else in between. And happy Juneteenth to all my brothers and sisters out there. And today is a very special day, and not just because it's Juneteenth. Today we are finally changing the steering wheel on the 997. <laughs> Okay, so today is that special day where the steering wheel on my 2007 Porsche 997 C2 is going to be changed. And some of you guys out there might be wondering why would I make such a aesthetic change to my vehicle? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but you know, to make it as concise and short as possible, the number one reason is purely aesthetics. That's all it boils down to. To me, the steering wheel on a car is like the cornerstone of the interior of a vehicle. Like when you go into a car, the first thing that you notice is the steering wheel for the most part. And a lot of vehicle manufacturers, especially after the implementation of mandatory airbags and all that kind of stuff, still struggle to this day with steering wheel design. And a good example of that would be this 997 right here and uh, other brands like Aston Martin. Like a lot of the Aston Martin steering wheels, you look at an Aston Martin and you think, oh wow, this is a really beautiful car. And then you get behind the driver's wheel, the driver's seat, and then you're just like, what is this thing in front of me? It looks like a deformed mushroom. But the Porsche 997 is also no stranger to this deformed mushroom syndrome. If you look behind me and see the steering wheel that um, unfortunately my 997 came standard equipped with was the dreadful triangle steering wheel of the era. 997 2s uh, came with the upgraded steering wheel, well some of them did, that looks a little bit better and then gradually poor steering wheels get better and better. And if we go back to 996 steering wheels, those things are really, really atrocious. So, in my case, what am I doing to remedy my vehicle of such a god-awful looking thing? I have this right here. This, my brothers and sisters, some of y'all might already know what this is, is the steering wheel off a Macan. That is right. This is the steering wheel off a of Macan, and it also comes on a lot of 991 uh, Porsche vehicles and stuff like that. But these steering wheels are interchangeable and can fit on pretty much most um, Porsche vehicles. Uh, not really regardless of the year, but within a certain year range, these things can pr pretty much all fit on all of the lineup. And um, this one right here, for those of you who might be uh, looking very, very uh, keenly at it, will notice that this one has flappy paddle shifters on it and my vehicle is a manual. So some of the things that are gonna have to be done, I'm gonna have to change this steering wheel around a little bit to make it look really, really cool on my car and not look out of place, like take off the flappy paddle gearbox uh, paddles. And I'm also going to change my uh, multi, uh, not change, but take off the multifunction buttons. Now my vehicle did not come equipped with multifunction. You can activate multifunction on these vehicles but it takes a lot of troubleshooting and going through and buying sensors and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is a multi-function delete. Hopefully it works, fingers and toes crossed, but we're gonna do those th modifications to this steering wheel that's in really good shape, and then we're gonna install it. And I um, also wanna talk real quick about the price and how much this steering wheel cost me. So I found this steering wheel on Facebook. I got really, really lucky, and I guess I'm also telling y'all why I have a Macan steering wheel in my hand instead of a proper I guess 911 steering wheel. So I got this on Facebook, really, really good price for this steering wheel and the actual airbag. Now, if I would have gone and just bought these two pieces separate, I would have been looking at roughly $900 for the steering wheel alone and then another six to $700 for the airbag. But I got both of them for the grand total of $1,200. And that was the best deal that I could find. I did see a manual 991 steering wheel for sale on uh, eBay but the person that was selling it they wanted almost two thousand dollars for it and they would not budge off that price so i said you know what i'm just gonna find the best price i can get which was this one right here for twelve hundred dollars and i'm just gonna modify it a little bit and it should be relatively easy knock on wood so these are the tools of the trade that i use to do my steering wheel modification switcheroo i use my 3 8 socket i use a 3 8 extension for that uh not socket 3 8 ratchet my 3 8 extension for that ratchet, I used a quarter to 3 8 uh, adapter so that I could use all of my Torx bits with the same pretty much setup. And these Torx, bit, Torx bits right here are great to have if you're gonna be working on any German car and specifically if you own a 911, you might wanna invest in a pair of the, a set of these because they work 
great. And specifically the um, ones that I used to do those steering wheel modifications was the T20 and the T15 uh, bits on here. But you should really should just go ahead and buy all of them because you're gonna need them. Uh, after that, you're gonna need this right here. This is the triple square setup. Uh, bits that you're gonna need as well and if once again if you own a Porsche you probably should go ahead and invest in a set of these because the M12 is the one that you use to remove your steering wheel but these other bits can be used for various things like taking your seats out changing your seat belts all that kind of stuff you're gonna need this kind of uh, setup right here so that's that to remove the actual airbag from the steering wheel I had to use this right here this is a 3 16th flat bottom Allen key now G wagon going by. Now, I tried to use a round bottom 316th uh, Allen key to get my airbag out, and I could not get it out with the round bottom one. And as soon as I used this flat bottom one, it popped straight out. So, flat bottom 316th Allen key must have. And last but not least, I used the mighty torque wrench to reinstall my new to me steering wheel in my 997. That's pretty much it. All right, so like I said, a few things need to be done first. First, I'm going to uh, take off the flappy paddles, and I know they look so cool, and I hate to take them off, but I have a manual shift car, so no point in having flappy paddles on my uh, steering wheel. And then after I get done with that, I'm going to try to install these right here. These are the little non-multifunction uh, inserts for the steering wheel. Now, on the Suncoast website, it says that these do not fit on a multifunction steering wheel, but I believe that it'll fit, but it'll leave a little bit of a gap. But we'll see how bad it looks. If it looks atrocious, then I'll figure something out. I mean, I don't think it's going to look that bad, so we're just going to go with it. And um, so I'm kind of figuring this out as I go, so I don't want to tell you all any wrong information, but for the most part, what I'm going to do first is remove these three torque screws under here. And once I pull this little cover off, I believe there's one or two torque screws that hold uh, the flappy pedal gearbox controllers in place. Once I remove those, the other thing I'm going to remove is these two pieces right here. And I believe that is one screw that holds the multifunction uh, uh, trim in place. And then I'm going to put these in in place of those and then put it all back together. So it shouldn't be too difficult, knock on wood. Let's go. saw there was me briefly disassemble this steering wheel and uh, it was not very difficult uh, most of the components either pop off or take one uh, Torx uh, screw to get out and remove from the skeleton of the actual steering wheel um, I noticed one thing though this steering wheel on the bottom um, uh, spoke has this oh it's a crew of bikers going past us I, <laughs> I know right on the bottom spoke, it has this uh, little button behind the steering wheel. I'm not really sure what this button does. I don't know if it's like the, to heat the steering wheel or illuminates the steering wheel. I don't know. I don't know what that's for, but I thought that was interesting. And I would note that that was there. Uh, I pulled off my uh, flappy paddle gearbox stuff. And um, I pulled off this right here, which is the actual steering wheel trim. And removed it from the skeleton of, the of this, uh, what you call it, uh, steering wheel skeleton. Now, these two multi, uh, multi-function controls have these two wires on the back that are connected right here that connect to this box right here, this little console thing. And um, I'm pretty sure I don't need this whole thing at all anymore because my car does not have multi-function. I guess for the time being, I'm going to leave it in though, and I'm going to go ahead and continue removing the uh, multi-function parts, and then I'm going to pop these in place of it. So let's see how that goes. Here we go. All right, so now the new trims are in, the uh, multifunction trims are out, and I think I'm gonna pull that box out as well because I can't imagine why it should stay in there. Well, I don't know, maybe I will leave it because it, it might control or do something with this. 
I'll leave it in there for that purpose only, just for now. But this was, so far, not very difficult. So, if I do have to pull this back apart again, I know it's not that much of an issue to do so. And now, as you can see, my steering wheel has transformed. I have removed the multifunction switches. I have removed the pedal shifts. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks a lot cleaner like this. My, uh, my, obviously, my airbag, I didn't push it all the way in yet, so it's not snapped 100% into place. But uh, you can pretty much see what the end result is gonna be. It looks just like any other manual shift uh, uh, 911 steering wheel from the era. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. I did have to do a little bit of modification to make this look how I guess I wanted to look, I guess, you know, for the time being. What I want to do eventually is get a block of aluminum or something like this and use it to fill in these holes right here. You can change these, uh, this piece of plastic right here out and get um, a piece of plastic that doesn't have a hole in it. And that might be the easier route to go. I'm gonna look and see how much this little back piece costs, but Depending, I don't know, I might uh, actually make something myself. Now, I did, came up with a little makeshift uh, solution for the time being, so you can't really see this hole right here, which is I just took a soda can and cut it and put it right there. And it doesn't look too bad if you squint and look from far away, but I mean, that's definitely not gonna be a permanent solution for me. But uh, eventually I'm gonna figure out something better. And uh, yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to say real quick is that a lot of the parts on this steering wheel, almost all the parts on this steering wheel are plastic. This right here looks like really cool metal. It's plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. Obviously, most of the stuff right here is plastic. And all of this plastic pretty much connects to a metal skeleton, which is inside of here. And y'all saw that when I had it all taken apart. And uh, then it has the electronic bits and the wiring in it and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, they're pretty modular so that Porsche can, could use this. For a bunch of different models and just build it out how it needed to be built out adding the um, paddle shifts and all that kind of stuff but it is done now and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and throw it into the car so let's see what the final result is gonna look like all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and remove the ugly triangle the bermuda triangle out of my 997 and doing this from what i've read is pretty straightforward but the first thing you got to do to do this is disconnect your battery so i'm about to pop the hood and disconnect the battery. All right, so the battery is disconnected. If you've never disconnected the battery before in your Porsche, all you gotta do is pop your hood. Um, in the center of the car, there's a little plastic piece that says Porsche really big on it. Two little trim pieces pop up, and then you disconnect it with a 10 millimeter uh, socket or whatever you have, and your battery's disconnected. So, now it's time to take off this old, uh, ugly steering wheel. And the first thing that I need to disconnect it, so this right here is a 316 long Allen key tool. From what I've read, this is one of the easiest things you can use to push this little uh, mechanism up inside of the uh, steering wheel that holds the airbag in place. So let's put that to the test and see how easy it is to do. Okay, so I finally got my uh, airbag out. And a lot of people, like from what I've read and stuff, said this is like one of the easiest parts, getting this airbag out. On mine, however, my airbag didn't want to come out. I like had to really take this flat um, Allen key and jam it up there really hard for the spring to release. I was trying to use this one right here that has a round edge on it. For whatever reason, I couldn't put enough force on it to pull the airbag out. So I went and found this one and uh, this one did the trick. So now, moving on. Now my airbag is out. I can go ahead and disconnect these connections that I have up in here. I need, uh, let's see, maybe I can do this with my hand. Oh, there it goes. Came straight out. And that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to use this 12 millimeter triple square to uh, remove the actual steering wheel. Uh, as you can see, my airbag is gone now. And these triple squares are good for a lot of different things on Porsches and a lot of German cars. So. They are good to have a triple square kit. Oh, there it goes. Well, that wasn't attached very good at all. Wow. I wonder if somebody's taken my um, steering wheel off before. 
Oh, that's it. That's interesting. But this thing is only supposed to be tightened to 37 foot-pounds of torque from what I read. So it's not very much torque on the steering wheel. But uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, that looks like that's dead center. All right. So now this screw is out. So a lot of people said that you should mark top dead center, which I feel like is about right there I think I can see that pretty good yeah that looks like that's straight up and down so now I should be able to pull wow my steering wheel really wasn't hung good <laughs> okay well there it is my steering wheel is now pulled off my Porsche and now I can do this maybe this should be the thumbnail me do, <laughs> do it like this La la la, look at me, I'm driving. <laughs> so now I'm going to attach the new steering wheel. Um, hopefully this is pretty straightforward. It has a mark inside of it to let you know where the top is. And I just marked that little white spot to let me know where the top is. If it needs to be adjusted, I can imagine it not being too difficult to take this off again and adjust it if need be. But let's see here. Uh, there's a bunch of splines inside here so yeah that looks good and that's that that's connected now uh, that's connected there's a little place down here on the left to connect these wires I think these wires might be for like heated steering wheel and stuff like that um, other those cool features let me see. I probably should have plugged this in first. Let me pull back a little bit on this. There it goes. Those are connected. I need to push it back forward a little bit. And uh, yeah, now I just need to attach the airbag. Well, <laughs> I need to screw it in first. <laughs> then attach the airbag. So while they're shooting the fireworks for Juneteenth, big up. I'm going to uh, put my blue thread locker on here so that, that doesn't vibrate loose when I'm driving down the road or farting down the road. Yeah, so cool in my Porsche. And then I'm going to take this, my uh, square, my triple square uh, 10, I meant 12. 10, 12, 10, 12, no. I'm gonna hand thread this back in first. It's going nice and good. Then uh, I'm gonna start tightening it a little bit with this. Cause tight so before I put too much torque on it I'm gonna tighten it with this okay there it goes 37 foot pounds of torque now my steering wheel is tight now it's time to connect the pise de resistance um, to its home so these are very simple they're color coded and they have these little grooves in them so you can't really get this wrong so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug uh, it goes that way there we go come on thing get in there get in there let's see Right, that's in there. And then this one should be like that, and then like that. Now you want to slowly put your steering, um, your airbag in, and make sure that it's all even and aligned while you're doing this. All right. You don't shouldn't have to force this thing in. I've never done this before, but from what I read 
shouldn't have to force this thing in place. It should just go. Make sure there's nothing stopping it from, no, nothing stopping it. Should be pretty. There we go. So, yay! So the horn should work. The steering wheel should work. And now it's in there. Look at that. All right, so it has been a week and some change since I've done the steering wheel modification on my 997, and I am so happy with it. Now, this steering wheel came off a uh, Macan, and I put it on my 997, so I had to do some modifications to make this steering wheel work. I had to buy some trim pieces for the uh, spokes to take the multifunction out and make it look like the manual one. And then I had to take the uh, flappy paddle gearboxes off and I had to fabricate some little covers to uh, cover up the holes that would have been on the back of the steering wheel cover to make it look like a manual steering wheel. And these steering, uh, wow, well, these kids are gonna get run over. And these steering wheels are very modular, so all these parts can just pop off and fit on other steering wheels and all that kind of stuff. So it's very, very, very easy to do. So I had to modify it a little bit. It came out great, it was easy. So. What do I love so much about the steering wheel? There's two main things. I love the aesthetics of it and I like the function of it. The aesthetics, I mean, look at how beautiful this thing looks. I feel like this steering wheel fits in perfect in a 997 cabin. Like, I feel like it brings everything up and it makes like, just everything in here just look beautiful. And when you come to the car and you approach the car and get in it, you're greeted with this beautiful steering wheel that almost looks like a piece of jewelry. And I just love that about the steering wheel. And uh, uh, what I like about the functionality of this steering wheel, well, I like that when you touch the steering wheel, the tactile feel of this steering wheel, the way that it feels in your hand, the way that these grips are, the cushioning in it, the leather, these thumb holes, everything about this steering wheel feels worlds apart from that old triangular pancake that was in the uh, that was the old steering wheel that came out of this car. I don't know why Porsche even put that steering wheel in a car, but that thing was atrocious. And this thing is beautiful. This thing looks like jewelry. It looks like a Rolex or something. So I am very happy with this mod. And if you do this mod, I do not think you will be disappointed. And I think to date, this might be my favorite modification that I've done to this car. So we are KRT Life. Like, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. I hope you like this video. And I hope it helps you if you decide to do the steering wheel swap on your 911. And until the next vlog and all these bumps, I will be out of here. Later. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.